Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another installment of United Worldwide Facebook Live on a Friday. John, why are we doing this on a Friday? Because it is a special day, ladies and gents. We are going to be talking all things Office of International Engagement, our friends here on the campus of the University of Northern Iowa that love international students just as much as Christy, Molly, and I love international students. So we most definitely have a jam-packed uh, program for you today. And um, Rayleigh and Carolina will be joining us soon. But uh, to start things off here, your international admissions counselor, Molly Asterita, joins us every United Worldwide Facebook Live to let us know what are the important things for you to know during the application process. So Molly, take it away. Perfect. Well, as some of you admitted students might have been seen, you've been getting emails possibly about your scholarship package. So now we have the scholarship committee has been looking over applications and been making their decisions. So for those of you who have been getting emails from us, make sure to look and see what types of scholarships you got. For those who haven't heard back, but know that they applied, just know that we're finishing these things up in the next few days. Um, and then just know that it's as usual, as I always say each time, it's not too late to apply for the International Excel Award. And so if you apply for that soon, you should be hearing back later on this spring about that. So just make sure you apply, apply. You may as well try. It's, you know, what's the worst that could happen? So, all right. And then for those who have been admitted, just know it's time, it's starting to be time to accept your offer. So if you got an admissions um, letter from us, you should have seen a link in there, or I'll just say it verbally, but I know it can be hard. So I'll, for those in the United Worldwide um, group, I will, I'll put the link there, but it's just admissions.uni.edu slash accept. So just know that you want to accept before May 1st, just that way you can be up to date about um, maybe orientation details and other important messages that will probably be coming from maybe Carolina or Rayleigh. So they'll talk about their orientation and stuff like that happening later on in this video. Um, and then just know though, I know it's so uncertain right now with visa appointments. So if you're not sure that you want to commit yet, just know that we'll maybe take it on a case by case basis. So I would say um, set up an appointment with me or email me um, just that way we can talk to see about your situation and why maybe, you know, if you just don't know what to do yet about the acceptance so we can see what happens. So there are a few ways um, to talk with me. You can either email me. Um, connect with me on Unibuddy or set up a Zoom appointment on Calendly. So I will also put that in the chat just that way you know how to um, set it up. So just know that I'm here. I would love to meet with you. And just so, you know, that way we can um, just see what's going on and, and just tell you a bit more about you and I as well. So we'd love to, to help you throughout the process. And I think those are all my my quick updates for for this time. So just yeah, remember look check for your emails for scholarships. Apply and um, just know accept your offer if you if you're ready. And um, otherwise, we can set up something to talk. But I'm so glad you guys get to meet um, Rayleigh and Carolina today because they are amazing. I get to um, spend some time with them during orientation and also during coffee hours, which they will get to talk about. But it's a highlight of my Friday. At the end of the day, Friday. Everyone gets together and has coffee and just sometimes we go to different locations. So I think last week we were at the um, business center and all that. So it's it's always a good time. So I'll, I'll let them talk about it more, but just know that um, these two are amazing. So just pay, pay special attention to what they have to offer. So I think I will head out now, um, but it was lovely to, to be on here with you all and I'll talk to you next time. Molly Astrida. Your infamous UNI International Admissions Counselor. Thank you, Molly. Yes, you're welcome. See ya. All right. Well, welcome Rayleigh and Carolina into the United Worldwide Facebook Live event here on a Friday, a special Friday, as we will introduce more of our campus partners uh, for international students. So we'll just go ahead and start out in introductions uh, and then let us know. Uh, what your role is in the Office of International Engagement. So Rayleigh, go ahead. 
Sure. Hi, everybody. My name's Rayleigh, as John said. I'm the graduate assistant for the Office of International Engagement, and I focus on um, orientation. So helping students get accommodated on campus and um, putting them on the right path to have a great time at UNI. Um, I'm a master's student, so I'm actually graduating in May, but I'm going to help you guys as long as I can, as long as I'm here. <laughs> Awesome, thank you. Carolina. Thank you, Don, and good morning, everyone. My name is Carolina Coronado Park, and I'm the Director of International Engagement, which means that uh, I supervise um, the staff who work with the students to provide support and orientation on campus, and also visiting scholars. But um, in, in my role, I'm also oversee the Cultural and Intensive English Program which um, help international students to advance on their academic English so they can be ready to apply to degree-seeking programs. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so much to talk about in so little time about the Office of International Engagement, but knowing that there's two separate offices, the Office of Admissions, where Molly just talked to you, uh, with the uh, director being Christy Mark Marcusani, and now our new assistant director, Miley, who is on the road right now. She is in Pakistan. So any of you listening from pa Pakistan, you may see her at your high school. Say hi. Go up and give her a high five. She's very friendly. And definitely ask her if you have any specific questions. When you get on campus and orientation starts, that's where our friends from the Office of International Engagement come in. Uh, there's a lot of resources, a lot of services for them to help you all. So before we start talking about orientation, Carolina, We've got international students that are on campus, ready to start their career as a UNI Panther. How does the OIE come in to help? Actually, it comes before uh, with our pre-arrival information. You will get letters from us telling about all, um, and also um, the portal where we usually upload all of the needed information before you get here. So for example, what to pack, him arrival information when you are going to be getting into campus so we can provide the airport pickup service to all of our students. Then we share with you the schedule about the information. It is a full a comprehensive uh, information regarding on how to learn all of the policies, resources, and uh, support that we provide here at UNI. And I really can tell you more about it because she has been pretty much involved on organizing the orientation for the last past two semesters. Um, yeah, so orientation is usually um, about like three or four days and we do it before you start classes. And we just have all these different resources come and talk to you guys about different things that happen on campus. Um, different uh, offices come and talk to you about what you need to do and how to get accommodated on campus. We also do a lot of fun team building things and get to know yous. Um, those fun icebreakers, I'm sure you're <laughs> getting used to. Um, and we just want to get to know you and hopefully create a family with all of you so that when you get to you and I and you and you start your classes and everything, you have that support system from us. I, um, if you can, um, let me also share with our incoming students that I was an international student once upon a time. I'm originally from Peru, so I fully understand what are maybe the questions and the concerns, but also the excitement that you may be having before coming to you and I. So just for you to know, we're here to help you when you get at you and I on campus. We want to introduce you to the community. We want to make sure that you feel welcome and understand everything that it is needed to, for you to be successful. We are talking to Rayleigh and Carolina from the Office of International Engagement here on the campus of the University of Northern Iowa. This is a special Friday edition of the United Worldwide Facebook Live. Uh, 
Our comment section is open, so go ahead, ask a question. Do you have any specific questions for Rayleigh or Carolina? Uh, this is the time to ask them. Uh, if you think of a question afterwards and we're done, not a problem. Go ahead and still put it in the comment section, and we most definitely could answer those questions. Uh, so when we're getting on campus and we're and we're starting um, our career as an international student, knowing that the transition can be a little rough, it's not the easiest for everyone. And when orientation is done, the support does not stop there. So when we're on campus and we have a place for students to just um, get to know their surroundings of you and I, how does the Office of Inter International Engagement make that transition as smooth as possible? I can tell you we have an, um, different advisors in our office. One, um, one of it is Edita Chicane, um, Immigration and Advising Service Coordinator, and uh, she is the one who provides all of the information to international students regarding the um, F1 visa or Gen 1 visa, how to maintain and also how to apply for optional practical training and um, how to uh, look for a job and get the needed resources to get the social security number and all of the documentation needed to be able to work on campus. We also have the academic English success coaching that uh, it is not on how to feed you sometimes only to speak English, but also how to understand the academic way of writing here at the college level or how to understand a uh, different um, teaching styles and also cross-cultural information that you may be concerning or with classmates, roommates, and um, just life in general. We're here always to support our students. Awesome. So when we're talking about those services, they are available at all times, knowing that students can come into your office and ask any specific questions. So what's the process like? If I come in and ask a question about a certain service, I come into the office, I'm going to be meeting someone at the front desk. Would I be able to schedule an, an appointment or would I be able to have a walk-in? Yep, and I, or you can email us or call us. Um, you general at the beginning of the orientation, I introduced myself to all of the students and share my business card. So I want everyone to be able to know that they can contact me by email and sometimes even via WhatsApp. We have a WhatsApp group that sometimes the students post some questions there. And uh, anyone, Rayleigh or the GPS a student that probably Rayleigh will be able to share about that um, the Global Success Panthers is students who are match with our international students and other resources for them too. Awesome. So really, to put you on the spot here, knowing that you did not do your undergrad here, but you are a graduate student, uh, doing your undergrad in a totally different place than uh, Cedar Falls, Iowa, uh, what has you and I taught you or what are some of the things as far as helping international students that you think is definitely a unique experience here on the campus of the University of North, Northern Iowa? So one of the things I loved the most about coming to you and I is like the community here. Um, <clears throat> it's like a big sense of comfort coming because I'm from California, which is not another country, but a very different place from here. So <laughs> when I came here, I was like, oh, like, I don't know anybody. What do I do? So I made really good connections here. And that's what I liked most about coming to you and I. Um, and I think we help our international students a lot. And we, um, going off of what Carolina said with all the advisors we have, we also have a lot of fun events and programming that we do too. So we take students on trips. We're going to Minneapolis in April, um, which should be really fun. And we do coffee hour as Molly stated earlier every week. So that's been a really good um, experience to meet new people. Um, but yeah, the connections have been great to be able to connect with everybody on campus. 
very awesome. friendly environment. <laughs> there you go. So before I get into a different, really big part of the Office of International Engagement, when we talk about the cultural programs in collaboration with the culture and intensive English program, really, I got one more question to ask you as far as before we get into that is staying on the topic of being a grad student. So knowing that the type of students that do come here that are international students, that many of you that may be listening, may not be undergrad students, but your graduate students coming here. I hold grad students close to my heart. I have a couple of grad degrees my, myself. So knowing what grad school is like, it's definitely a different animal compared to an undergrad. So as far as you being a grad student, Rayleigh, have you had um, what the com conversations have been, been like and what do you think the type of support that we have for graduate students here on campus? Yeah, um, so <clears throat> like Carolina said, we have the Global Panther Success Team which is um, the team that I mentor. And a lot of them are graduate students. Um, and so people who are graduate students that are coming in as international students to campus, they have a really good team of people that they can talk to. Um, they have me, and then they have some of the people that are graduate students on um, the GPS team. And um, I think the support is similar from graduate to undergraduate, all the advisors that work with the undergraduate students can also work with graduate students to get that um, academic advising and the immigration specialist advise, advising. Um, so I think we have a lot of good support for graduate students as well. Awesome. Car Carolina, anything to add on that? Yes, and if I can add it, it is that we have a very close working a relationship with the graduate college. So uh, we are always in constant communication. If there is any needed help or support from either office, we are always communicating um, with um, the dean of the graduate college and also with um, the different advisors that they have. Um, each student has an advisor if for a graduate a college in each of the um, departments, academic departments. So they can reach out to their academic advisor, they can reach out to the graduate college, or they can come to see us um, at any time. So there is a lot of support on campus for graduate college, for graduate students, but also undergrad students. And awesome. um, just to add uh, one more thing is every, it, it is a weekly also a um, coffee or virtual coffee hour with the dean and graduate students so they have the opportunity to visit with her and share any concerns or successes with him um, so they are always in constant communication awesome good good stuff yes knowing that uh undergraduate students and graduate students are welcome it's it's always good to highlight the different type of students that come here on the campus of the University of Northern Iowa, knowing that every single student, not just undergraduate and graduate students, but those that are on an exchange program that come here, definitely let us know who we are. We love meet, meeting you. I love meeting people from all types of country around the world. And one of my favorite memories is when we had the scavenger hunt, hunt to start things off last fall. And oh my gosh, I think Christy and I counted at least like 50 different com countries. Or there were a lot of students, around 50 students, and it was a lot of fun. So I definitely look forward to meeting all of you once you come on campus too. So once you are on campus, the other services that we do have to offer here in the Office of International Engagement is uh, what's called is a cultural programs in collaboration with the culture and intensive English program. So Knowing what CIEP, this culture, um, the culture and, and intensive English program is, uh, Carolina, go ahead and explain that to us a little, little bit, and then what support programs go along with that. Sure, the cultural and intensive English program my mission is to uh, provide instruction, uh, English instruction to uh, students who may be um, coming here to study just for a short period of the time in to uh, be able to advance their professional or academic English to maybe study at UNI or in any other higher learning institution in, in the United States, but also any conditionally admitted student who don't still have the TOEFL or IELTS score required for full admission, they can start at the CIP. 
The CIP has five different levels and uh, we have an integrated classes, which means the listening, speaking, reading and writing, it is all put it in one class of three hours, total of 20 hours um, of classes a week because we also include a laboratory where the students are able to um, take some of the exams, but also get be able to get some um, present presentations or a visit with our volunteers who come from the community to share with them their experience. So um, it is most of our students who go through the CIP and go into UNI feel ready because they had been for a while here on campus and they become familiar with um, all of the needed resources once that they start at UNI. But uh, in the CIP, we also make sure that uh, the students are engaged and connected to the large community, not only with the UNI community, but uh, with the Cedar Valley community. So in that regards, we offer the conversation partner program that it means that we match um, not only the CIP, the English learners, but also all of international students with domestic students who are already studying on campus. And so they can just get together for an hour or two hours per week to just exchange, exchange uh, stories about life, about family, about hobbies, and sometimes get together to go to maybe a football game or a, to the movie theater. And so that those are opportunities, it is only, it is not only beneficial for our international students, but also for our domestic students to learn about your culture. So, because once that you are here, you become an ambassador of your country, of your culture. So it is an opportunity to talk out and tell all about, it is um, about your country and your traditions of your culture. Then we also have the International Friendship Family Program, that it is when we match international students with families from the community. It is not a living host family, but it is, um, the, the match is for, to be able uh, to connect with, with the family, learn about their traditions, but or, uh, and visit maybe once a week or twice a week or a month to be able to go to the park or to maybe visit the church or just to learn about the different experience of how a family live here in, in, in the United States. That's awesome. No, you, uh, you hit it right on, on the button there. As far as when I meet international students, when they come on camp campus, I always love learning about their cult culture. I always love learning about the different type of countries. I get excited uh, with uh, international student promoters. We have around 30 students this semester. We had around 2021 20, last uh, semester. We're thinking like, oh, this might be a down semester. We may not have many. We have 30 from 16 different countries. And I get to learn about uh, students coming from areas that I never knew that I thought that I would meet anyone from from there and learning about uh, what their upbringing is, but mo most importantly, why they show pride in their own area as as well. So you are listening to the United Worldwide Facebook Live here on uh, the campus of the University of Northern Iowa here on your United Worldwide Facebook page. Uh, we have a special event here joined by Carolina, the director of the Office of International Engagements and her graduate assistant, Rayleigh. Uh, one last thing that we will go ahead and cover is just a little bit more about orientation, knowing that that is the closest thing that is going to be uh, your exposure to the Office of International Engagement. And there could be no other person other than Rayleigh herself to go ahead and help knowing what the orientation process is like other than Ava Dietrich. Yay. Ava. Hi, Ava. Ava herself making a cameo appearance, letting us know more oh. about the Office of International Engagements and how the GPS team works. So Ava, look comfy in your own confines there. Introduce yourself and let us know a little bit about your role. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Ava Dietrich. I am one of your global Panther Success team members that's going to welcome you to you and I. Um, they kind of caught me on an off morning. I'm still drinking my coffee and I'm <laughs> saying some apologies about that. Um, but orientation is this amazing, wonderful event that we have for you guys um, to welcome you to campus and to really get to know you and integrate you with the UNI community as a whole. Um, and I get to work alongside Rayleigh to do that with you, Rayleigh and Gracie RGA over at CIEP. Um, and we're just always excited to have you come and to be able to meet you and interact with you. Um, and when you do come, you'll realize that Rayleigh and I are both very high energy individuals. So we like to keep orientation fun. We like to keep it moving and we like to make sure that we get you all the resources that you need. Awesome, good, good stuff. So um, along with that program, uh, being able to still be an ambassador on campus when you are currently a student, Ava. So uh, what are some of the, I'm sure we could have a full half hour talking about the experiences you've had with international students, but um, why does your support with uh, inter international students, why doesn't it end at orientation? What type of passion do you have going forward and continue to help in the Office of International Engagement? Yes, of course. So um, with any experience, it doesn't end once you get here. And in our office, we make sure to capitalize on that. So your GPS team is going to be supporting you throughout the entirety of your stay at UNI. It doesn't matter if we welcomed you to campus or if another GPS team welcomed you to campus, we're always a resource. As Carolina mentioned, we have amazing programs in our office and at CIEP to help students. We've got academic um, English co coaching, academic advising. We've got all of these amazing programs that are meant to help bolster your experience no matter where you are at your path here at UNI. So I know that sometimes our office for those older students is full of new faces. Please come in, please say hello. We are all very welcoming and excited to see you. Um, this is our job. We love what we do. Um, it takes up a lot of our time and it's because we love <laughs> students and have a passion for it that we continue to work every day to make sure you feel supported and comfortable and content here on campus. Awesome. Good, good stuff. I threw a little curveball there for you, Rayleigh and Carolina. I wanted to save Ava for, for, for the last part and uh, knowing that she brings a lot of energy to the Office of International Engage Engagement along with everyone else involved. We love helping international students. However, we can be an asset to you. Let us know. Uh, we'll definitely be able to reach out to you if you have any more imp information. Uh, but any last words, Car Carolina, Rayleigh, anything that stands out the most that you just want to reiterate or make sure that students are well aware of what support they have at the Office of International Engagements? I can wait to meet you. I'm so looking forward to the new group. As you say, John, last fall and the beginning of this spring, it was a lot of excitement for us to, to be able to meet a new group of students. Every year for orientation, we're kind of wondering who is the new group? We're ready for them. And I want to show them what we have here at UNI. And, you know, it is always a new phase, a new opportunity for us to make friends too, we, because of that it is what we see on the students, that they are coming to learn, that are students, but also they become part of our lives too. So it is a wonderful opportunity to continue welcoming more students at UNI, but also making new friends. So looking forward to meet everyone. Yay. Yeah, same. I echo everything you guys have said. It's been so fun to work in this office and to meet new international students. So I'm looking forward to meeting more. Awesome. Well, solid almost pretty much to the dot a half hour of knowing more about the Office of International Engagement. Really, does the information of the Office of Inter International Engagement, does it stop here on the United Worldwide Facebook page? Or how else are they going to be able to know more about what to see with OIE? <laughs> so that's a great question, John. <laughs> Every week I post on the United Worldwide Facebook page. So it doesn't stop here. Um, I'll post about what events happen and other things that are going on in the international community. So look for that. And then also just come say hi to us whenever you get here in the Office of International Engagement. Like Ava said, we're all really fun and friendly. So 
come chat with us. Awesome. So for Carolina, Rayleigh, and Ava, I'm John Peterson saying have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you next time. Uh, it varies. It could be Wednesday. It could be Tuesday. All of us are busy during this spring semester, but we make time to get to know all of you more and make sure you know the right information at the right time about the University of Northern Iowa. So that will do it for us. All of you have a safe week, and we will see you next time here on the United Worldwide Facebook Live. Until next time, go Panthers.